Hello everyone, thanks for joining me at Systems Within Systems. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about chops and how they work and how you actually develop the movement to them and the forming of the hand. First let me demonstrate a little bit how the hand is formed. There's three types of chops that I use, three types of hand formation. One is just the standard but I keep the thumb out because I like to hook with it and there's a curve to the hand which reinforces the bone structure. The other one that I like to do is I drop the finger and I use it as a hook because I like to hook with it. This is usually my favorite one, the one that I use all of the time because then I'll come in and hook with it, not just coming out with the hit. And a straightforward one that I recommend to people is from a leopard paw, right? Leopard paw is formed this way and it just comes in and just really enforces all the bone structure. Now when I chop, my fingers are usually loose when they're coming out. Before they hit, I will form the hand structure any way I want. Sometimes my fingers may separate a little bit, depending on where I'm hitting with. The chops now are designed, you want to think about them more like a, like a katana, right, coming in. So it covers very small ground. It hits right, it targets in, it gets into the crevices, you know, kind of like a little kid when they hit you with those little fists that seem to get in all the spots that you don't like to get hit in, right? So they get in, but you want to look at it as like the blade of a sword. Chops are very effective and aren't really used a lot because people just don't really know how to form them. Now you'll see like uh, people, uh, there's a show called Black Dynamite. Everybody sees it and they're chopping this way here, right? And they're going like this, right? All right, that's how people basically chop. They throw their arm like a baseball bat. They're coming out like this or this or they're chopping this way. That doesn't work because then you're pushing all this percussion down into the elbow and it's not really effective. Chops work from the elbow down, not the shoulders moving out this way here, not swinging it like a baseball bat, you know, not going this way, they work with separation, separate movement. A lot of times you're going to point your elbow to where you're going to be chopping. So it's swinging out this way, right? It's swinging out this way. Now I usually call the elbow points the way to the stars because after you hit them with it, that's what they're going to see, right? Even if you're taking a standard chop where you're coming from here, it doesn't do this, you see? It comes, stops, it stops here stops here and then comes out. Now also the chops have this little flick, right? Before it hits. So it's not just coming out solid this way. When it's coming out, it's turning. When it gets to the point where it's got a strike, it hits, it hits. And there's a great amount of power in that. They could come out multiple shots, right? Coming around, hitting, hitting, coming around, hitting, hitting right? They have a lot of effect. You'll see people will chop this way, which seems like a weak chop, but it's actually very powerful. It moves. So you're coming out, moving with your chops. They get into all these little spots. Great amount of power, and they're also great, what I like to call, we'll do in another segment, blocking going in. They chop their way through to the target, to the main area. Okay, I uh, called instructor uh, Victor out here to help me a little bit to kind of demonstrate how the chops actually work from a standing still position. Now we went through the different types of attack, you know, attacking at the same time, waiting for attack, and wait, you know, and moving off of the attack. So this is just for demonstration purposes. When the chops are in action, of course, it's a lot different. Just give me an idea how they get into those nooks and crannies. So if instructor Victrum takes a stance, he's taking a very close range stance. First, my chops are very quick and very powerful. They could come with the whole arm or just a, a little piece of the arm. If his hands are this way, I may decide to take my chop and come up here, just moving in from this type of stance, because this is where I'm going to work from. I could chop from here as well. I like coming into the chop and moving. You see how this hand sneaks up? So I could come in and chop which this chop comes here, comes to the side of the head. I could come in with a straight chop because the elbows allow me to angle around. So say I want to hit into this area here. If I come in and I'm up this way, right, the elbow pointing, the chop comes in. 
you see you'll notice I'm not doing this right I'm coming out with the chop and hitting so I can also take this chop which is a straightforward chop here right come in guard with my elbow here against this hand and come in and chop they hurt a great deal if I decide to just come over I could chop right into the neck if I decide to come this way I could chop right across the eyes right if I hook I can chop and hook into the eyes that's why I like these little babies coming out right you see my hands are loose if his arms are out more so he's got a wider stance this sets it up I could cut with my chop from here and you see how this hand is hiding hello how you doing right right it's gonna be pick -a -boo on you right so I'm gonna come in here I could chop one two three or I could chop coming right through people are saying sometimes we think we're speeding up the film we're gonna do a little segment on that I'm not I'm just very quick right so the chops just move out this chops slow mm. you could see the effectiveness of the arm coming out if I decide to come from here and move the chop comes in here it's it same hand come out it could be one two then it out out if I decide to come into the body from here right boom hits and out so chops are like knives sword edges they come in very effective especially fighting some of these really strong he's fighting very effective and coming in and powerful with the movement they hit hard you're feeling that a little bit right they hit hard I can take it from here from here they move here boom and then chop covering all the bases right they come in really okay sorry they come in really violent this is that chop that you saw me do this way boom it just hits bam and then boom comes around hi I'm Ben I'm just gonna revisit some of the stuff Sifu was talking about with the chops uh, one of the main reasons that the chops are so effective is they work off movement and strength doesn't really play that big a factor in it so if Mike takes a position Thanks, it's all about. The elbow movement, what we call the triggers. So your elbows have eyes. So if he, if he holds this up here and he gets in a more closed off stance, I can use my elbows to come in and pry, and the chops can come off of that, that elbow movement. And the hand, he talked about it a little bit, that twist in the chop, it's going to be basically an introduction into what we call cross hitting, where the hit's going to come in one way and come out another. And that does a surprising amount of damage because the body is trying to process what's happening and it's a lot more for it to do. So whether I'm hitting low, if I'm coming in, I chop here, hit low, I'm coming in this way at an angle, so I'll touch here and it'll turn in. So it's penetrating as it turns in and then it comes out a different direction. So that does a lot more damage than say a direct punch that comes in one way and comes out the same way. It still has the same compression you're still using percussion to hit but it adds an extra dimension so if you think of the hit as a as a vector the punch goes in this way and it will continue in this way and it will come out the same way the chop will come in the same way it's coming in this way but when it leaves it's coming out this way so there's two lines of energy that's going through his system and it's much harder for his brain to deal with the amount of information that's coming through so if he just takes a new position you can punch from far, you can chop from far away. My, my elbow's here, my elbows are gonna lead the way, so if I'm pointing to the stars like Sifu was talking about, or if I'm coming from down, I'll bring it up and it will come out to here. You're still targeting from small point to small point. You can do multiple chops, so boom here, multiple hits, chops, if relax for a second, turn. Chops can also hit from very, very close range. So even if Mike is on top of me, this chop can come in here, and that turn, that turn, I'm not gonna do it, that turn can come out very explosively and hit here. And then you still have these chops, they can come across the body from very close range. So chops are incredibly versatile. They focus on the movement, so a smaller person hitting a bigger person, it's still gonna be very effective. So we've only really scratched the surface on chops, but I think that's a really nice introduction. Hello everyone, thanks again for watching. If you really enjoyed this, please give the two thumbs up or the one thumb, whatever suits you, and please subscribe.
If you'd like to see more, you can check out the website or the podcast. You can find the links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Boom!